everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica, and as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a life update video. It has been a very long time since I've done a life update, so I figured there's no better time than in January, when everyone's kind of like making big pivots and moves and stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to stick around for more videos like this one, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I can't talk today. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first thing I wanted to jump into was career. I know a lot of people ask about social media. I still teach social media. I still have my course. I will have it linked down below if you're interested. As far as me moving forward with managing other brands' accounts, that's not something that I'm particularly interested in anymore. I feel like I've done it for so long. Um, it's kind of easy for me, and I just kind of got bored of it, to be honest. And I'm also tired of growing other people's brands and letting myself take a back seat all the time. So that's why you'll see like more YouTube videos, more content on my Instagram, because I want to put more focus on myself and building something of my own. Instead of managing brand social media accounts, I've just focused on their influencer marketing. So I'll represent a brand and work with influencers um, instead, which is something that I do enjoy. Um, it is a little bit more of a challenge for me versus social media management. So it's fun for me, but yeah, that's what I've been up to as far as career. I get a lot of questions about that. So I'm working with a couple of different brands doing that right now. As far as us moving, that has been a topic we brought up so many times. Um, I feel like my husband and I just kind of flip-flopped because when we were living in Calabasas, I was extremely, extremely lonely and sad. I wouldn't say like I was going through depression the way that I have in the past um, years ago, but I was just like really, with, really withdrawn from things that I liked. Um, I didn't feel the need to pursue things. I just was kind of drawn away from everything that I loved and I felt extremely lonely. I didn't have any friends. Um, I had like one person that was a friend nearby and like one or two friends in LA that would actively hang out with me regularly, which is totally fine. Like I don't think you need to have millions of friends to be happy. I went from having a ton of great friends in Texas to basically only having a handful and not even a handful, like two or three. So that was really hard. Um, and my husband really liked Calabasas. We were near the golf courses and he had friends out there. And I feel like we kind of flip-flopped because now he's kind of struggling here in Orange County. And you know, I, I don't have a ton of friends here either, but the friends that I do have are really, really amazing here. And they make me so happy just getting to be social again for the first time. And you know, my husband and I both work from home. We both have each other, but it's like, you know, sometimes you just want to like, Watch Lizzie McGuire with your girls and go get your nails done and stuff. So um, that has been good for us here, but then for him, he's struggling right now. We have been talking about moving um, quite a bit. We've talked about moving back to LA. We've talked about moving to Texas, but I don't think Texas is going to happen. We've been praying a lot and trying to see like the signs that God shows you in your life to communicate with you. And every single sign we get nonstop says to be patient and to stay put. So that is what we're doing. Um, we would like to live in LA again, but just, I don't think the timing is right. And I personally love this house. I'm very happy in this house. So I don't want to just let go of it right now anyway. So that's the update on the moving situation. We're probably not going to be in Texas anytime soon. We might be in LA, but we'll for sure be in California at the end of the day. Another update for y'all is my fitness routine. I want to do a whole separate video on my new workout routine because it is much more different and I'm getting a lot of like really great results which is insane like even me just looking at the pictures of my body and like how lean my stomach has gotten is really strange to me because I just don't ever picture myself like that. It's like when I looked at myself in the mirror on my wedding day I was like girl is that you? That doesn't look like you. But basically now I'm combining both the diet section plus working out, and then I'm doing F45 right now as well as going to the gym. Um, it sounds like a lot of effort and a lot of work, but it's really not once you kind of like just get it into your head. Like, I just like to be moving a lot, so at least every other day I want to do something, whether it's like walking the dogs like up and down, like there's some hills near here, so it's a pretty, it's not like a super easy walk or going to the gym, going to F45 or a different workout class. So also something that made the biggest difference for me as far as like getting more shredded than I've ever been as far as like my stomach area is that I was gluten free and I am gluten free still like for health reasons. I'm allergic to wheat. But something to keep in mind if you are gluten free is that I feel like when you're gluten free you have a habit of going into a restaurant or going to the grocery store and going, what's gluten free? Oh, there's gluten free tortillas. Oh, there's gluten free bread. There's pasta. 
all of that is carbs. So that is the big difference in my diet. I used to be that person that would go in and be like, oh my god, they have a gluten-free bread, so I can have a sandwich now. Oh, they have gluten-free pasta, so I'm gonna get the pasta. And so, like, it's so easy to find gluten-free nowadays that you just end up eating an all-carb diet, and that's what happened to me. That's why when I was getting pretty lean for our wedding, I would gain muscle like in my legs and my arms, but my stomach would never get that shredded, and it's because I was just eating a ton of gluten-free pastas and breads and stuff. So, little tip there, if you are gluten-free, watch out. Those carbs add up quick, girlfriend. And the last update I have for y'all is the cancer update. For those of you that don't know, my husband got diagnosed with cancer, was it last year? Or two years ago? Gosh, it feels like it was two years ago, but I think it was just last year. I'll have to look. I'm trying to think. Was it last year or two years? Man, the years all mixed together, but we're just going to say it was two years ago because I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. Um, he got diagnosed with cancer. And if you go back, I think I have a video where I just kind of talked about it a little bit. And the reason why him and I each had our own videos posting about it is because we were getting a lot of questions. And it was very overwhelming for us to handle it personally, like mentally and emotionally. But then also... You have to handle wrapping it around your own head and then all these people come into you like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, or oh my god, my so-and-so had the same type of cancer and they did this, which is great, but it's just extremely overwhelming and hard to process. So we kind of strayed away from putting that much out there about the cancer progress, um, both because of those situations and because it was extremely slow and people would always like ask updates, which is so kind and nice and we really appreciate it, but it was just... It's been a slow moving process. So if you are ever sick, get the heck out of California and go to Texas because this would have been resolved a long time ago and, or at least, I don't know, it's hard to explain. He's had a couple of surgeries, things like that. And unfortunately we will no longer be giving public updates, at least not for a long time, about his cancer situation because we're in a major lawsuit and our legal team has advised us to not talk about it. Um, so hopefully the lawsuit goes well out of all of this negative, horrible things. Um, I wish I could tell y'all about the lawsuit because it's pretty interesting, um, but I cannot. They will not let me. Dang it. But anyway, those are just a few life updates. I know it wasn't that long of a video, but I just want to be transparent with y'all and let y'all know what's going on in our lives. But if you have any questions, be sure to drop them down below. I'm an open book. I'm happy to answer any questions you have, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!